My name is Oak. I'm from Topology. Uh, and currently, we've been building objects on top of CRDTs. So who here knows about CRDTs? Oh, some people. Quite some people. OK, fine. Uh, then we are good. I'm still going to give a super brief introduction on CRDTs. And CRDTs were mainly written on this paper, which is Conflict-Free Replicated Data Types by two authors in Portugal and two in France. And basically, the TLDR of that is I can just do whatever I want locally, and eventually, when I'm merging with other computers on the network, we are going to achieve the same state. The tricky part about this is um, actually those kinds of types need to be monotonic, in the sense that the, their state it needs to be always incremental. You can think about like grow only counters, where you have a counter locally that only increments in size, never decrements, and then. That's a CRDT, basically, because when I'm going to merge with someone else in the network, I know for sure that my counter is going to be the minimum value across all the nodes. Um, oh, basic, based on these super simple data types, then we can do much more complex data types. We currently have JSON CRDTs, which are composed by super multiple of those smaller data types for we don't grow only sets also and all of that that kind of stuff. And based on that, we did some past experiments within topology. And this was one of the main examples that we had in the past. Basically, this is a penguin world where we have a, a CRDT. This is all built with CRDTs with a library that is super known in within GS, which is YGS. I don't know if you are familiar with that. You do. Lots of people do, it seems. <laughs> it's a really nice, good library. The it doesn't implement basic types, but it implements lots of nice stuff. We even had collusion there. Uh, there's Guilty Gyoza, which is here, also part of the team, jumping around and recording. We posted this around, and we have lots of great feedback, we, uh, also from the authors of YGS, which, which was super cool. And then we thought, oh, YGS is super cool and super nice, but we also actually want to build generic objects for it. So we decided on creating topology protocol. And basically, topology protocol is on based on Smalltalk objects. Who here is familiar with Smalltalk? Okay, more people than CRDTs. <laughs> uh, so basically, Smalltalk-like objects, we want to have blueprints for those types of objects. We want to have interfaces for them. Uh, we want to have signaling between those types of objects. Um, and then we have view functions, we have merge functions, which are a requisite for, for CRDTs, and then mutator functions, which are going to change the state. The thing about the mutator functions is they need to be monotonic because of the CRDTs constraints. And basically, that's what we are start, what we started to doing. We are super demo-driven, and we are focused on lots of these issues, basically. So we need to have peer-to-peer -peer messaging. We currently are using wp 2 p for that. Good, good thing. Um, but a part of that, we also need to have causal consistency because of the operations. We need to have some kind of having the dependencies on operations for upgrading this, the, the state and have some conflict resolution mechanism. And with that, we also introduce the part of the TLC. The TLC is super important because we want to actually compact the state from time to time. We want to compact the state. We want to have some kinds of snapshotting within the network. And because of that, we need to have some form of consensus. And for that, we also need some time, some time way of doing it in distributed systems, which is super tricky because timestamps can't be used for sure. Uh, and this is what we've been working on and doing lots of research on. Um, Basically, this is the sketch that we did on the back of the paper for the peer-to-peer -peer network. And basically, we can have lots of objects within the network. This is a pub sub system. So every node that wants to, to subscribe to some object, they can subscribe to the object. And the thing is, nice thing, the rest of the network doesn't care about those updates. So when we are propagating the updates within those objects, it's just within the pub sub group that we have. Um, and there are quite some use cases for this. So most of the times people are asking, oh, but what are the use cases? Collaborative tools is one of the main use cases that lots of people have been using a lot. Local first community is always thinking about the collaborative tools and 
it's one of the easiest ways to implement these types of stuff. When you are in competitive environments, it's way trickier. Um, but yeah, here you can think about Google Docs, you can think about Figma and having the collaborative environment there where you can do all of that stuff. For that, you also want to use OT, but yes. Uh, yep. Then we have also social networks and applications. Even Farcaster now is super popular and it's bas based on a CRDT, a big CRDT where you po put posters there and you have the also the grown reset for the deletions. And then you have games in autonomous world, which is also a big area, mostly on blockchain space. Um, so for the past couple of days, we've been doing some live demos. We, this presentation here is supposed to be super short, so we didn't want to do the live demo here. But actually, if you want, you can just stop into that, that, uh, that link. You can try it on. This live demo was, it was not this one, it was the next one. It was super interesting because I can answer the question that was there before. There was one guy from the United States that joined that session while we were here and everything worked. The guy was seeing us, hopping around, painting on the canvas. And basically what we have in that live demo is we have presence, which is just publishing through the pub subgroup for saying that I'm here, I'm there. And then we have a, a big CRO that is that big canvas on the end. And uh, what we put there is lots of seekers on that canvas, and those are CRDT based. Um, the, so this was all built with lip 2 p We are super happy because we didn't have this working for the past month. We make it work in the last week, so big claps for the lip 2 p team. Everything worked with behind firewalls and uh, and not traversals and all that, so we were super happy about it. Um, and that's mainly what we are doing at Topology right now. We are just solving our problems in within distributed systems. We are talking about constraints in CRDTs because lots of those competitive environments r require constraint-based uh, uh, approaches for us to not be able to just say that I'm teleporting from one place to the other, for example. Uh, DDoS is connectivity. The connectivity, we are mostly abstracting it and leaving it to the we P2P team to fix it. Thank you. Uh, and then compaction, that is totally on our side, Ashcrafts also. And other super cool problems. So because of that, we are also hiring. If anyone here wants to work on those cool problems, we are, you can totally reach out to us. And it, that's it. If you don't want to work with us on that, you can also join us on our communication channels. We have the Telegram, we have Discord. This big QR code is for the Discord. And all our work is also open source. Our research is open source. You can just follow the GitHub organization and you can find everything that we build and research on there. And that's basically it. Thank you, guys. <laughs>